Nine months after the storming of the United States Capitol, the attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 election is still underway. We are in the midst of a ro rolling coup. Almost every day, Republicans pass more voter suppression laws. They purge more and more election officials, and they entrench the big lie that the election was stolen. Just check out this weekend. And the Republicans have to stay strong. You have to stay strong. You have to fight. Bring our country back. Do you feel that enough has been done for a free and fair election for these congressional races we in 2022? Yeah, we are making great improvements, and as you say, 18 states. But we are also being able to stop H.R. 1, where the Democrats would have greater control of our election, of what we could actually say uh, a speech czar, to make the Democrats have greater control when it comes to the Federal Election Commission. And these states and is yep. where the rules need to change. We need to clean the rolls yep. up. Like in Los Angeles, there's more than 1.2 million people on the rolls. That's more than who are old enough to actually register to vote. Are we going to follow what the Constitution says? or not. I hope we get back to what the Constitution says, but clearly in a number of states, they didn't follow those legislatively. So you think rules. the election was so I, I, stolen? What I said is there are states that didn't follow their legislatively set rules. It's the words of GOP Congressman Steve Scalise there that are the most chilling to me. He's carefully foreshadowing what the GOP position is likely to be come 2024. Not just election fraud, but making sure that Republican state legislatures will have the power to pick each slate of presidential electors. Never mind voters and their pesky, you know, votes in a democracy. The Republicans want to unilaterally decide who runs the country. It's all about election subversion now. Mark my words, if Donald Trump is the 2024 Republican presidential nominee and Republicans control the House of Representatives, they will not certify a Democratic victory in 2024. Warning, this video contains strong, graphic language. Viewer discretion is advised. The following comments were made by John Favreau during a Pod Save America podcast called Stop the Steal on May 27, 2021. A link to the entire podcast can be found in the description section below. Uh, where he talked to a bunch of White House officials about whether they're worried enough about what's happening in the states. And, you know, they made the argument that obviously they want H.R. 1 to pass and that the voter suppression they believe is is dangerous and antithetical to democracy and they're worried about it but they think their argument is basically with enough money and organization you can we can get our voters out and we can sort of get around some of these voter suppression laws in 2022 and then again in 2024 when Biden's on the ticket again presumably but then they said that what they're more worried about and don't really have a plan for is this strategy by Republicans to put all the pieces in place so that they can successfully overturn the next election that they lose. And just to lay out how this happens, right? Like this is now we're past all the voter suppression stuff. We got around it. We won not only the popular vote, but we won the electoral college vote. So all, all that needs to happen here for them to overturn the next election is you have a fairly close election in a few swing states, just like last time. Doesn't even have to be too close, maybe just a difference of like 1% between the candidates. Trump cries fraud, or whoever Republican it is. And if Trumpy Republicans are election officials or in charge of state legislatures, which they are in charge of a lot of state legislatures in red and purple states, and now they're running to be secretaries of state in those states, then they just refuse to certify the election or they send their own slate of delegates. Then, if we lose in 2022, because we have a fucking gerrymandered House and it was impossible for Democrats to win, we have a Republican House and if we have a Republican Senate, they all they have to do is refuse to certify enough states to give either candidate 270 electoral votes. If they refuse to certify the states, the Constitution says that if Congress doesn't certify a majority winner, the Republican House picks the president. And that's that. Now, what has to happen is not just Republicans win in 2022, and take control of the House and the Senate, they would also have to once again maintain control of the House and the Senate in the 2024 election, if we're talking about stealing the presidency, um, because of course you'd have the new Congress then. But if the Republicans keep the House in 2024 and they keep the Senate in 2024 and they win those two things, they will have everything in place they need to 
constitutionally steal the presidency. And like, it doesn't seem like, like we're talking a lot about voter suppression too. It does not seem like anyone has a plan for this, that anyone is alarmed enough about this. What do you think? 